This Mobile Geeks video is powered by ASUS. So, here we've got the Moto X Pure Edition and I'm going to unbox it. So here it is in all its 5.7 inch glory. But let's get into what's inside the box before we take a look at the device itself. So we have a PSU that allows for turbo charge. Now I did try this out and I went from 1% uh, to 34% in under 15 minutes, which is amazing. But you need to use this charger uh, because it's higher capacity. And then it comes with a bumper, which is great. Some papers, I'm assuming it's gonna be a little manual. Here's a little manual, there's some instructions. And then we have a little pin unlocker for your SIM card and your micro SD card. So why don't we turn it on and take a look at the device. So I just hit the power button here on the side. Here we've got the volume rocker. Around the front we have two front facing speakers. There's a front facing camera right there, uh, as well as a flash on the front, which is quite cool. So on the bottom here, you can see that this is a micro USB connector. I, I'm a little disappointed it's not USB type C, uh, even though this does fast charge. It's just nice to put it in either way. Uh, the other thing that I kind of found interesting is that the SIM card slot and micro SD card slot is here on the top because usually you find something like this on the side. Now if you take a closer look at the camera on the back, it is greatly improved from the previous editions. It's 21 megapixels. Uh, on the front, this is actually a 5 megapixel camera here. So now let's just check out the camera UI real quick. It is classic Google. So you see here, this is where you kind of go through everything. Uh, where it saves to the camera. There's also 4K and slow-mo. And I've even taken a slow-mo sample of a lighter, which will give you an idea of how this reacts to exposure. So why don't we check out a slideshow of some photos I've taken, as well as the video. All right, so it's a little bit cloudy out, and this is a pool. We're doing a little bit of a microphone test. How do I sound? All right, now let's try a macro level video. So let's go in on this dandelion here, the daisy. Yeah, the autofocus is kind of getting it. All right, so now let's test the zoom. There's a cat. Let's zoom in on the cat. Damn, this is a really nice outdoor backyard barbecue area. Really makes me wish I lived here. <laughs> so step one, have a half decent camera. To me, that's one of the, the most important things on a smartphone. There's 21 megapixels on the back, five megapixels on the front. We have a selfie flash here. And actually, why don't I go ahead and show you what the video on the front looks like. All right, here we have the front-facing camera outside. I'm a little bit backlit, now I'm not. Now I'm backlit, now I'm not. How did it do, what do you think? So now that we know that it has a half-decent camera, what about the rest of the, uh, mm. So now that we know that it has a half mm. So now that we know that it has a half-decent camera, what about the rest of the device? Well, this is a 5.7 inch display. It's 1440 by 2560. It's got very decent viewing angles. It's bright. It's bright enough, definitely. Let's, so there we go. If I pull that all the way up, it actually blows out the camera. I'm gonna pull that down just so that you can see things a little bit better. It's also running a Snapdragon 808 processor, which is something that we find in other high-end flagship smartphones, but ones that are six, seven, eight hundred dollars So the fact that, that that processor with three gigabytes of RAM is here in a $400 smartphone that comes with a 3,000 milliampere battery as well and three gigabytes of RAM. Uh, on top of the micro SD card, it also has options for storage, 16, 32, and 64 uh, gigabytes. So there's, there's a lot to be said about this $400 smartphone. Now to show you a little bit more about the performance, I can just navigate around and just show you how quick things work. So taking a look at the performance, you can see that it's, it's fast enough. 
everything about it is, is quick. I haven't had any stuttering uh, yet so far, but why don't I play some Asphalt 8 to give you an idea of what the gaming performance is like on the Moto X Pure Edition. Okay, now I'm in first. Nice. Oh, turn, turn, Nicole. Turn, 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 turn. Oh. Okay, well, so far so good. I mean, I'm not, I'm, well, I'm running into stuff. Whatever. All right. So, it has loud enough speakers. If I were able to ah, play this game a little bit better. Uh, so far, it's not getting warm at all. Nothing. Nothing. Usually it kind of gets warm around this area uh, where, the, where the battery sits, but so far, absolutely nothing. So we hit this ramp. There we go. Got some. Oh, there we go. Oops. Oops. Oh, well, going in the air dropped me down to fourth. That sucks. I really don't need to do tricks. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so that's so, so far. Oh, I'm not seeing. Oh, oh, oh well, apart from that, uh, I'm still seeing no stuttering. Uh, it's not really warming up at all. So, in terms of gaming, this is absolutely killing it. And it's got two great uh, front facing speakers. So one of the advantages to getting a Nexus is that you get a pure Android experience. You don't get any extra overlays or any extra just weird janky areas. It's basically, well it is pure Android. And pure Android has some great stuff in it. I mean little things like this, experimental contrast. See now that's outlined. Now it's not. It's just little things, little things. So if you're taking a look at the motor, so if you're thinking of buying the Motorola for the price, this is one of the best Android smartphones out on the market. It doesn't feel like you're sacrificing on anything. If I were to put this up against the OnePlus 2, same price point, this feels complete. The OnePlus 2, because of the software, just feels like, like you're missing a big part of the experience on the phone. The camera on this is definitely capable of some great things. The display is bright enough. The UI uh, with being pure Android is good. The, uh, the 3000 milliampere battery is enough. Um, this will get you through, the all, through all day for sure if you're a heavy user, but this isn't exceptional battery life. This isn't a day and a half if you're a heavy user or for sure you don't need to charge uh, before you go out for like a really late night on the town. You're gonna wanna top up, but having said that, it has the 34% uh, in 15 minutes, which, is actually what I got. So the fact that you can quick charge your battery life, you just need to get, you're just gonna need to get um, quick charging adapters and you can get, and you can get quick charge external battery packs as well. So this was just my unboxing and review of the Motorola X Pure Edition. I'm a big fan. If you're looking to get a five points, you don't mind it. In, if you are looking for a slightly bigger device at 5.7 inches, you cannot go wrong with the Moto X Pure Edition. I'm your host, Nicole Scott, for Mobile Geeks. If you haven't already, if you're thinking about picking up the Moto X Pure Edition, let me know in the comments. If you're not, also let me know why you're not interested. If you haven't liked this video, why don't you go ahead and do that? And if you're not subscribed to our channel, every subscription really helps us out. I'm your host, Nicole Scott, for Mobile Geeks. Yeah.